Right guys and welcome back to my LP and today we are moving into the house, the new house. Not this old shack here, but a brand new house. Uh, we'll be getting rid of these torches in a while. And also I've made sort of, I don't know, a weird dirt staircase thing. It looks awesome though, you have to do it. But yeah, oh. Yeah, so anyway, and this is going to be what the main lobby bit's going to look like as such. What I'm planning to do is have a hidden door here, you know, with the pistons. And there's going to be pressure plates, so I'm just going to stand there and it's going to open it up. And I'm just going to be a whole thing behind that. But uh, here, I'm going to have chests, furnaces, crafting tables, and a bit more of decoration and what not. But what we need to do, first of all, is move in. So I'm going to get all my stuff. Oh by the way yeah, I've collected quite a lot of wood and leaves over the past couple of days and I also got some jack-o-lanterns ja jack-o-lanterns because that's something cool I'm sure I'll show you guys. But yep got some chests and I might as well take this chest from here. Pop. But yeah. Anyways. So what we're going to do is just to get in the house. Um uh, I've sort of got this idea in my head of what I want things to look like where I'm gonna have two chests here and two chests here. And then this side where I'm gonna have two chests here, two chests here. And then on the other side same thing, two chests here, um, well, two chests and two chests, but I need to make some more chests. Did you just hear something? Oh, I spider, spider, there's a spider. Where's the spider? It doesn't matter. But yeah, so I'll get moving. Also, I have a surprise for the end of this, which you'll see soon. Oh, by the way, I'm thinking of keeping this sort of as like a remembrance of the first episode, or first couple of episodes. But I'm just going to keep all this stuff, I'm not going to remove any of it. But I am going to move it to the side of it. Right guys, I'm back. I have, um, well, placed most of the stuff. This isn't what's going to, well actually it probably will look for the first couple of episodes. Actually I might not even do anything, it's made to be what it looks like. Except these furnaces are definitely going to move, I just couldn't think of where to put them. I think they look alright for there. Because I really like the idea of a door thing here. But I need sticky pistons for it to work, so it may be a while. But uh, yeah, I'm, I haven't sorted it into categories and such, but I do like to sort of have rough categories. Like, there is some like that sort of wood, that cobblestone, but here it's just other blocks and in here it's just other nature type stuff in here that's tools so that is that's just some other valuable resources nothing there nothing there but yeah and uh, not only that it is night outside I have got something cool to show you which actually is, it is quite cool and it involves using these and I'll just tell you what to tell you now I am playing on normal just die. But it's more interesting to watch. I need to find a nice dark area. Well, not, not too dark, but reasonably dark. But this is the sort of design I want to use. I did get this off someone, so you don't expect me to. Like. Do anything amazing from it. Pretty much, so there's no, I don't mean to do that. <laughs> Sorry. But what you do is, uh. Mm, it's not evil though. Give me this. I'm very bad at getting ready for things, I'm sorry. Put that one there. And then you have a glowing hedge. So you know it provides light because of the thing underneath it. And the light or the leaves that light go through it. So you have glowing hedges and thanks to 
uh, the 1.9 pre release, which I'm now number part 3, which are some interesting stuff to show you. Some are too, I guess, the Vampin, some are pr actually quite cool. But uh, yeah, I'll probably do a demo on the pre release. But anyway, so yeah, go away and tell you, I want those. Oh, I probably should get those leads back with it. No, I can't. It doesn't matter. Anyways. But yeah, I definitely will be using them around the house to get rid of these torches, that's my plan. Oh, I need more pumpkins. We don't need these pumpkins, right? Oh, I need to go to big mine soon to get things. Actually, I'll probably make that into a video. But I do have some other epic stuff to show you. Um, this one in here involves a mob trap. Will you? That's probably inside this terrible thing. <laughs> Lol. But yes, I remember the skeleton spawner we found earlier? I've been doing some work on it. And uh, the reason I didn't do it on camera was because I'd probably fail epically at it and waste like five hours of your lives. And to be honest, it's not that efficient uh, in any way at all. Because you have to be there at all times really for it to spawn. But this is what I got to. This here. And uh, basically you stand here and I didn't collect. It's not that good at all, I will be honest. Oh, lag. But still, I'll show you how it works. Probably was not a good idea to bring our own valuable items. Basically, as you guess, it works like drawing. You probably ha didn't even guess that, but you have your skeleton. Okay, so I'll just show you what it does here. Uh, click, click, click. Okay, good. Yeah, I can't do anything today. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's go. Let's go, 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 go. Okay, so you can see the skeleton is there. And he's pretty much just going to drown. Yep, see, it's starting to drown. And the items that he dropped, which he didn't drop any. That's fun. Yeah, as you can see, it's not really that efficient. But basically, what happens is they drop their items, it falls down there, in here, and I pick it up. Oh, wait, another skeleton. Let's see if this one drops items. As you say, it's really bad. Once I get my main house over there sorted, I will do a proper one. Don't have long. Well, actually, no, I do. But I have like half the video still. But you know, other stuff on it. Okay, that skeleton's not dying. Okay, well, you get the point. It's not that good at all. I'm very sorry to disappoint you all, but it's really not that good. Okay, now uh, this is this is the most awesome thing you've ever seen in the history of Minecraft. And I will get it for you right now. And yes, we're going back to this town. Also, yeah, since the thing came out, pigs and stuff do now spawn where I live. So I can get pork. Yay. So it's, it's all fine now. I was a bit worried for a minute that I'd have to go all the way over here if I wanted to never get meat. Okay, I don't like the new pork. I like I still like the way that raw pork is pink, but I don't like the way that the cows have taken the thing. Well no, I don't mind it. It's like I don't just I don't like the new colour of pork chops, if you know what I mean. They just look weird. But yeah. I'm going to need wheat. Because there's been an update to the animal breeding uh, anim anima anima any 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 mal and uh, uh, breeding process. Yeah. Yep. Since pigs are the best animal to ever to exist in the history of Minecraft, I will show you the pigs. 
Uh, most of you already know what I'm gonna do, but for people who don't, you're gonna do it anyways. I guess I know you do all know what I'm gonna do doing this stuff. But look what happens if you get two on a bird's eye. You get the pig on your pig. And what's it then hit? A baby pig! How epic is that? That's so epic! Okay, I'll kill it. Kill it. It's, you can't kill them, they're, they're too small. Oh, oh, sorry, I didn't drop anything. Stupid pig. But anyways. Yeah. Also, I think XP is not officially of use in the game. I'm not sure, I can't really show you it. See, cause, um, the problem with just starting this new LP series is that I can't really show you stuff. Because it, I just don't have time. Do you know what I mean? Uh, but I will try my best to show you as much stuff as I can. That's why I'm going to go do a creative video not long after this about the new stuff with the free release. I'm also going to show you some tutorials. Which I've got a really good one in mind. As well as the automatic raid farm. Oh, which I still need to do that actually. I just I, I love these videos. I've been recording loads of these. I I think I've got no number four is the is it's not out yet but it's on the process of coming out. So the first three up. But yeah, this is it. Wow, my food smells. I didn't even realize that. I'm not used to looking at the food still, and I wasted a whole. Anyways. But you know, it doesn't really matter. I'm gonna sit here, chill. It's all cool. Get some of this stuff. We'll go over here. You know, you know. Chill. Oh, and yeah, next episode. Got a good idea. We're going to build a farm. Not sure where, not sure how. Not sure I do know where. We're gonna build it inside this mountain. There's gonna be an indoor farm. It's probably gonna be more underground than in the mountain itself. But I will have some things on mountains and stuff, like in the mountain. I'm thinking of putting a mob sort of spawner thing up there. Then there will float down like a thing down there, and then they'll fall to their death there. But then I can pick the stuff up there. But uh, I sort of want the all like rooms attached and stuff, and well, I, I will need to finish this episode up. Anyways, so yeah, this is the new cabin, the crossing, building a farm next episode. I'm going to get my pork chops, which are ready. Now. And. Um, yeah. Jump, jump, no, 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 oh. Okay, I'm not ending it like that. that. That's not the ending I'm doing. That was the worst ending ever. I'm not just on YouTube. Well, not just in a video. Like, ever. What I'm going to do is something more often and impressive, which you'll also probably feel. In every way that one hit. Geronimo! No, no, no. <coughs> Goodbye.